Let's make baked feta pasta mac and cheese. And let's make it spanakopita style. Add two blocks of feta to the center of a casserole dish. Then pour in a pound of dry macaroni or your small pasta of choice, along with four cups of half and half and two cups of water. Add a nice sized sprinkle of kosher salt, then give it a little bit of a stir. Next, drizzle your feta with some extra virgin olive oil and crack some fresh black pepper over top. Then pop in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. When it comes out, you know the drill. Break up the feta and start mixing everything together. I only added four cups of liquid before I put it in the oven and I needed to add more, so that's why I told you to add six. Add two cups of Parmesan cheese now, or you can add it at the beginning phase as well. Give that a stir, then add a bunch of spinach. You can add fresh or frozen, just make sure frozen is well drained and warmed up. Next, add your filo dough topping. I will show you how to do this in another video. Then just break in and enjoy. Where else can I take this trend? Let's make baked feta pasta, mac and cheese, buffalo chicken style. Add a block of feta and a block of cream cheese to the center of a baking dish. Then add a pound of dry elbow macaroni, two and a half to three cups of shredded cheddar cheese, and six cups of milk. Then add a few tablespoons of minced garlic, a lot of salt, guys, a few really good pinches. Then kind of give that outside part a stir to combine. Next, add about a half a cup or so of your favorite buffalo sauce to the top of the dish. Then crack some fresh black pepper over the top and put in a 350 degree oven for 50 minutes. I feel like I have perfected this method. The feta was so creamy, so is the cream cheese. The pasta was perfectly cooked. There was the perfect amount of liquid. Make sure you test at this point for any extra seasoning. I added plenty of salt though, so I was good. Then I just had bought a rotisserie chicken, shredded some up and added it in. So easy and so frigging good, guys. What am I gonna do with this hack next? Let's make baked feta pasta, mac and cheese, pepperoni pizza style. Add a block of feta and a log of goat cheese to the center of a casserole dish. Then add a pound of dry elbow macaroni, parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, a few cloves of garlic, half a grated onion, and about five cups of milk. Then make sure you season with salt. Yes, it's a seasoning. Give that pasta cheese milk mixture a good stir to mix it all up. Then you're going to top the whole thing with tomato sauce. Add some fresh cracked black pepper, then pop in a 350 degree oven for 50 minutes. About halfway through cooking, I gave the outside of it a good stir just so the pasta wouldn't stick to the side of the casserole dish. When it comes out, mix everything up to combine, then add some fresh oregano, top with more shredded mozzarella cheese and pepperoni. Then pop back in the oven on a low rack to broil for about five more minutes and your pizza mac and cheese is done. Where else am I gonna go with this? Let's make another mac and cheese hack, but this time let's make it with sriracha chicken and Velveeta. Add three quarters of a large block of Velveeta to the center of a baking dish. Then add one pound of small pasta, not the kind that I used, to the outside of the baking dish along with six cups of whole milk, a healthy pinch of salt, a dozen cloves of minced garlic, and a quarter cup of sriracha. Top with some fresh cracked pepper, then pop in the oven at 350 degrees for 55 minutes. When it comes out, you know the drill. Mix it all up till that cheese and milk becomes one. Once your mac and cheese is mixed, you can go ahead and add a big handful of shredded rotisserie chicken. Another great hack so you don't even have to cook your own chicken. Give that a good stir to combine. Then you're going to add some nice thick shavings of Parmigiano Reggiano all over the top. This is so good, guys. It's actually a recreation of one of my favorite hometown dishes. So saucy, so cheesy, and so delicious. Well, what should I do with this hack next? It's time for another mac and cheese hack. And this time we're doing it tuna melt style. Add a six ounce block each of extra sharp cheddar and American cheese to the center of a casserole dish. Then add one pound of dry shell pasta, two and three quarter cups each of bone broth and whole milk, 12 ounces of canned tuna, 10 ounces of cottage cheese blended up. And of course you're gonna wanna season the whole thing with some kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Move the noodles around just a little bit to loosen them up. Then stick in a 350 degree oven for 55 minutes, taking it out halfway to stir the outside edges. Once it's out, you know the drill. Mix everything up until it's fully combined. At this point, I decided I wanted to add some celery seed and some paprika, you know, for you guys. And for color, I think it looks nice. Check for seasoning, then top the whole thing with thinly sliced fresh tomatoes and crushed Ritz crackers. No joke, this is one of my favorite things I've ever made. I loved it. Where else am I going with this? Let's make spicy penne a la vodka and let's try the mac hack on it. Add one pound of penne to a baking dish, then add five to six cups of liquid. Today, I'm trying out tomato juice, water, and vodka. Kind of a lot of vodka. And we are continuing with the vodka. 
All right, all right, there's kids in here. Oh, and I forgot I added some heavy cream as well because I like my penne alla vodka extra creamy. Add a nice healthy pinch of salt and give it a good stir. Once that's all combined, squirt three, four, hell, maybe even five tablespoons of tomato paste over top. Then I added a nice healthy scoop of Calabrian chili pepper paste to the center, along with some fresh cracked pepper. Bake this in the oven at 350 for about 55 minutes, taking it out halfway through to give it a good stir. When it comes out, just stir it up and you're done. Next time, I'm gonna leave out the tomato juice, but this tastes amazing, albeit heavy-handed on the vodka. It's time for another mac and cheese hack. And this time, we're doing it cheeseburger style. Add eight ounce blocks of American and cheddar cheeses to the center of a baking dish. Then add one pound of pasta, I'm using small shells, and six cups of the liquid of your choice. I'm using mostly whole milk and bone broth today. Season liberally with salt and give the outside a good stir. Now we're gonna add our special sauce ingredients. Squirt a few tablespoons of mayo, a couple tablespoons each of ketchup and sweet pickle relish. Add a little drizzle of white vinegar. And then of course, we're gonna go across the top with some freshly cracked black pepper. Then stick in a 350 degree oven for 55 minutes, taking it out halfway to stir around the edges. Once it comes out, you know the drill. Stir it all up until the cheese is completely combined. Finally, the cheeseburger part. Add one pound of cooked ground beef and stir to combine, then top with shredded lettuce, some diced onion, some halved cherry tomatoes, and sesame seeds. And don't worry, I am still not done with this hack. 